Today we're going on a before and after tour, so let's get started. Hi everyone, it's Liz. Welcome to Balance and Rhythm. Our upstairs bathroom remodel has been substantially complete for a while, but when Norley, a Scandinavian home decor company, was kind enough to send their October box for me to try, it was full of beautiful Nordic design bathroom items and I knew it was time for the reveal. If you're not familiar with Norley, they're a subscription box service out of Copenhagen, Denmark, that provides six beautifully curated boxes per year of modern Nordic design and nature-inspired home decor items. I'll leave links below to their site so you can check them out and show you how I use their beautiful and high quality items in my own space. Now, without any further ado, let's take a look at what I like to call our Wabi Sabi bathroom makeover. As all of you know, if you've followed this channel for a while, we talk a lot about warm and natural interiors. We want to bring that feeling to our home as we renovate, starting with our upstairs. We had very red Brazilian cherry floors that we were able to tone down quite a bit by going very dark. And since the bathroom is immediately adjacent, we wanted to be sure there was cohesion between the spaces. We were inspired by the warm, natural, and less than perfect feel of the Japandi style, which is a marriage of Scandinavian and Japanese styles, and incorporated lots of natural materials, black accents, and a wabi-sabi look to bring the spaces together. The first order of business was to select porcelain tile flooring with a natural look that would provide a soft contrast to the wood flooring. We replaced the existing wide grouted ceramic tile and overpainted wood baseboards with a beautiful 24 by 24 warm gray porcelain tile with a natural stone look and a matching modern bullnose base for ultimate cleanability. In keeping with the wabi-sabi feel we wanted to create, we selected a 3x12 ceramic tile called Raku, named after the style of Japanese hand-modeled pottery. It provides that perfectly imperfect look, replacing the existing pitted, porous, and whimsical travertine. Sherwin-Williams Modern Gray turned out to be an almost perfect color match to the wall tile and provides a seamless tone-on-tone -tone look. Even with their natural and less than perfect looks, these tile selections were installed in a modern way for a contemporary look. In addition to materials and overall look, the existing DIY shower was problematic because it left nowhere to bathe small children and the shower was impossible to turn on without getting soaked with cold water. So we tore it down and installed the low bathtub for easy use and access. Next, it was time to select the focal point of the space, the vanity. We had an enormous built-in vanity of dated builder-grade honey maple topped with the most hideous plastic laminate countertop. Not only was it ugly, but it left absolutely no floor space for much needed accessories like a hamper and a wastebasket. So we ripped that out as well and replaced it with a gorgeous vanity in a medium warm wood with hints of coolness for balance. The beautiful hexagons are the perfect natural pattern against the more angular tile installation, bringing to mind honeycombs and snowflakes. The black metal base of the vanity adds the perfect wabi-sabi feel and inspired the selection of the matte black fixtures and accessories, which help guide the gaze around the space. A black frame mirror with double globe sconces on each side replaced the large builder grade mirror and overhead light providing an even and flattering light on the face. We had to experiment a little with color temperature and found that GE's reveal bulbs gave us the truest light without making the finishes look too yellow or casting a harsh white light. A modern skirted toilet with a soft closed seat and lid completed the replacement of the fixtures and it was time to move on to the fun stuff, accessorizing. In keeping with the natural style, we chose a shower curtain of 100% linen in an off-white. We decided to go as close to the ceiling as possible and take it all the way to the floor to add some softness to the space. We've been searching for a piece of original artwork, but have yet to find exactly what we're looking for. So for now, this is the perfect spot to display the neutral abstract print that was included in the October Norley box, along with our favorite reed diffuser. On the quartz countertop, we added a beautifully rounded mushroom-like liquid soap dispenser that we like to display with candles or reed diffusers. Or we switch it up for guests and provide a beautiful handmade soap accented with gold dust. 
It smells so amazing. I really wish Scentivision was a thing. It came in the Norley box along with a stylish handmade soap dish. But the icing on the cake from the Norley box is this gorgeous 100% organic cotton hand towel by renowned Finnish design house Money Mikkel that adds the perfect punch of graphic yet natural pattern and helps bring cool and warm tones together. And last but definitely not least, this neutral and monochromatic natural space would not be complete without the splash of color and life that live plants bring. So it's the perfect home for a couple of our beloved snake plants. I hope you enjoyed the makeover tour. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to be the first to know about new videos. Also, check out the links below for Norley and all the products featured in this video and also some related content. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.